The nation's premier horse exposition is being held on the grounds of the Big E in West Springfield this week, and it's called the Equine Affair, and that's where we find mass appeals. Danny No. Rich, how you doing? We're at one of North America's biggest equestrian events. This is exciting. I've seen a lot of horses today. I've been hanging out with Beth Volpe here. She's one of the coordinators, the educators here with Equine Affair. Hi, Beth. Hi. Uh, so before, Beth taught me how to braid uh, a horse tail. And now we're going to start with the head. And before we get to this, I want to show everyone this massive skeleton. Beth, can you tell us what we're looking at? Yeah, so this is a real horse skeleton. And there's a human skeleton. Um, on top of it to kind of show you how the rider interacts with the horse structurally as they're riding. It's kind of weird to look at, so I don't want to dwell on it, but it's just kind of honing in on the fact that this is an educational event with some competition sprinkled in. Okay, how do I dress the horse, is that what we're calling it? Okay, so we're going to put a halter on this horse. A halter, um, okay. To, which is used to, you know, lead a, lead a horse around or tie them to a post or whatever you need to do. So we're actually going to slide on over to the left side. Okay of our horse here because you always want to work from the left side. Um, this is our halter right here. So we're going to start with the nose band, this slide is the nose. it over his nose there. Okay. Well, let me ask permission. Is it okay if I put this <laughs> over your nose? Okay, thank you. All right, okay. we're good there. And then you're going to just put this strap over up behind his ears. This? He doesn't bite. He's very well trained. Oh, really? Yes. That's, he hasn't blinked in like 10 minutes. It's kind of scary. Yes, that's me. another skill of his. <laughs> um, so then you just take this behind their ear and then you just buckle it right here. And what is the point of the halter? Well, um, if you need to lead a horse somewhere, so say take them out to a pasture or bring them in from the pasture or hold them so the vet can work on them, mm -hmm. um, you would clip a rope right here and then you have control over them so that you can get them to do what you want. Ooh, down boy, down boy, <laughs> he's a little wild one. Oh, And then of course I wanted to ask you, about the thing that goes in the mouth. So what are these yes. called? So these are bits and they would go in the horse's mouth um, and then the reins would attach to these like loops on the sides and that's where you can steer your horse. Is that comfortable? Yeah, so they're designed to kind of fit in gaps in the horse's mouth so that it's, it's not uncomfortable. Um, and then there are kind of different degrees of harshness. If of hard, <laughs> yes, a real <laughs> ruggedness. Yeah, not that any of them are super hard, no, but not different horses all. just respond to different shapes. Definitely. And how you know are more comfortable with different things in their mouth. So, <laughs> well, uh, Beth, thank you for walking us around all day no today. Problem. I've had a lot of fun both in Nashville and right now. Best luck. It runs till Sunday, guys. You can hang out, meet lots of horses, inspire kids to want to learn more about horses as well. And sending it back to the desk. Now everyone reporting live from Equine Affair. I am Danny New for 22 News.